Hey everybody, welcome back. David Dion here, and we are down in the Toy Museum, and we're talking Star Wars today because I am going to take you on my Star Wars journey, if you will. Copycat the journey, yeah. I because LPH is doing something very similar <laughs> mm -hmm. with her vintage Masters of the Universe collection, and so I wanted to share this because I've actually picked up a few things recently, and for me, it's hard to get back into Star Wars because I used to have the entire series. I had all the carded figures, I had all of the box sets sealed, and loose examples, and really hundreds of the loose figures. And it's part of the collection that was stolen. And I had all of this stuff a long time ago. It was stolen by my ex, and when I bought the stuff it was in the early 90s when it wasn't worth anything. Like, you see the Darth Vader here, I had the whole series of the deluxe size 1978 figures. When I got these, I wasn't paying more than like $50, $60 a piece for them in the box because that's all they were worth in the very beginning of the 90s. Now it's impossible. And from my original collection, you see these two loose figures here, this uh, Dengar and this Hoth soldier, mm -hmm. the only two pieces left. From your original? From the original collection. Okay. From the hundreds of figures and the carded figures and everything I had. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two that survived mm. that weren't taken. And then this pitiful Luke right here, which is my actual childhood Luke Skywalker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I still have. I managed to hold on to that. And I used to, uh, I used to carry him around everywhere. I had to keep him in my pocket all the time, take him to school whatever because it was my only star wars toy at the time <laughs> <laughs> and i stole him oh well not technically there was an abandoned car in my neighborhood mm -hmm. and it was sitting there for months on the side of the road and this luke was sitting on the dashboard mm -hmm. and the windows were open and i don't know why uh no one ever messed with the car they just left it and then one day i was like i'm just gonna grab that luke and i was like seven or whatever seven or eight years old so technically he's kind of stolen, hmm. but he's still there. <laughs> now at Toy Lanta mm -hmm. a few months ago, I found this boxed Darth Vader, which of course is the large size they call. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes called the 12 inch series, which is, it kind of doesn't make sense because I don't think, but three of these figures are actually 12 inches tall. Mm -hmm. The rest of them are all kinds of different sizes. And you can see these are all different heights. Okay, these right here that we're currently looking at yeah. are considered yeah. the 12 inch line? Yeah, but look okay. at them. Yeah. And that's why large size, like it says on the box, makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Technically, there's six scale. Mm -hmm. But I found this Darth Vader and this Princess Leia at a dealer's table and got a really, really good price on it for the pair. Then at the Joe Fest just recently, I picked up these four. Okay. And, it's the, and they are all complete. Well, C-3PO didn't come with anything. <laughs> but <laughs> the Boba Fett is complete. And then the Han Solo is complete. And with the metal, which is always missing. And then Luke Skywalker is complete. And they're nice and clean. He's got a smudge on his nose. I got to clean it off, but I got those four, and so again, this is my journey to trying to fill in, if you will, other Star Wars because where I was with Star Wars, you know, having mint on card, crystal clear, blister, unpunched, original release Star Wars figures probably not going to happen anymore unless I win the lottery because <laughs> this stuff has gotten so insanely expensive it doesn't make sense mm. even for loose pieces in a lot of examples are so astronomically expensive but all that aside all that aside I have a box Yay. and so this is another piece that I have I managed to find that I got a decent price on and so I'm going to open this up here. You'll see it as I see it. And I hope it's okay because this box is too small for what's in it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I don't like that. Yeah, I never like that. Mm. 
And I'll now I'm terrified. I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous. Yeah, so am I. This uh, box is too small because it is another large size figure. Mm -hmm. Unless they put him in here sitting down, mm -hmm. which is possible. Oh, okay, it's not in the box. No, it's not in the box. Okay, because I was thinking maybe they had folded figure. up the oh, box. Oh, I see or what something. they did. They, they put, put him in here at an angle. In an angle. Okay. They put him in here at an angle. And it is. I still have some tape, and some of the people watching probably are already figured out who this is mm -hmm. that I'm going to add in here. And this isn't a great idea, actually, the packing, because if this had been hit corner to corner, mm -hmm. then the figure would have been really badly damaged. He could have, like, snapped his neck. Okay, it's another Darth Vader. It is. So it's that same one outside the box. Yes, this okay. is a loose example, because I had everything a boxed and a loose example. Okay. And this is the deluxe scale, the Ooh, large he's scale. Heavy. Well, he's too tall. I'll have to rearrange the shelf to get him up there. Mm -hmm. With his original saber which is getting to be an issue because they are making reproductions for these. Yeah, and we talked about that in yes. length um, when we talked about um, reproduction versus original. Because uh, some people are cool with having an original figure with reproduction parts and accessories. Yes, but I'm, I'm somebody who is very adamant about original pieces and original condition. And so, I don't like reproduction. But there's so many counterfeits, and they're so well made, it's often hard to tell the difference, even for professional collectors. Like you see these figures right here, and when I had my figures, there were no counterfeit weapons, because I was getting them in the late 80s, early 90s. And okay, well, hold it still, because I had it in focus. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, now keep that's, it right there. That's Dengar. Okay. And you see the rifle he has there, mm -hmm. but these these guns for these small figures are being reproduced in record numbers by professionals with uh, 3D printers. And even professional collectors and dealers are having a very hard time telling the difference between the originals and... The reproductions and that's a to me that's a problem because a lot of people can be fooled and ripped off if because some of this stuff's very expensive yeah i'm cool with reproduction if you know it's a reproduction yes, and that's know. what you want and you bought it knowing this is a reproduction it's not the original and i think it should be clearly marked and labeled as such yes and you know again this is uh, another piece being added to the original large scale figure line, which in particular I, I had an affinity for. Mm -hmm. I like these. I like the bigger ones. They're, you know, I, I like the small figures too. I'm cool with that, but there's something about the larger ones that stands out for me. And I always appreciated them. So, and I know this is off topic, but the, but the yes. G.I. Joe is the same way. Yeah. They have the big ones, like yeah. you have some of the big ones and they have the little ones. I like the bigger figures better yeah. because you can see it more, um, the clothing fits more, you can see it, the, the uh, accessories and stuff. I just think the bigger ones look better. Okay, I didn't mean to jump off. Oh no, you're fine. You can you can do more with it, mm -hmm. you know, even as far as display. So I always I always had an affinity for the big line, and I think that's why, for right now, anyways, I'm working on the larger scale line. But I'll take whatever I can find that's loose complete mm -hmm. or mint in the box. If I can find anything loose complete or mint in the box from any of the series, um, which is you know the the 18th scale, the 6th scale um, figures or vehicles or accessories or even the die cast because I had those too. Huh. I, I even had actually a store display of the jewelry mm. with all, all the sealed jewelry still hanging on it. I had the whole tree. Uh, I had so much stuff I don't even know where to begin and it, it's all gone. So but, is that smaller than the G.I. Joe 3 quarter? 
It's the, it should be in the same scale. Oh, okay. This is the, yeah. Those look smaller than that G.I. Joe over there. It does seem so, doesn't it? Yeah. But they're roughly the, the same, sa size. The same. Well, I can show you one. Because mm -hmm. you got here. a bunch of loose Joes. Yeah, there's a, a handful of loose ones standing up here. Just put him next to Luke really quick, and you can okay, see. Okay, yeah. It's roughly the same. Yes, it's a, oh, it's let me just, zoom in so yeah, people can see. It's just that, of course, obviously the GI Joe has much better articulation. Yeah. Than does the uh, vintage Star Wars, which is typically five points of articulation. Okay. And then the GI Joe has multiple. But I wanted to share that and I will continue to try to find decent pieces to go back to expanding on this collection. Do you have a list Star so you Wars. can mark it off as you get? Oh, the, the list would be too big because <laughs> the, there's just so much stuff. Uh, it's, people ask me that and it's like because I had a, a lot of vintage Mego lines. There's so many different Mego lines. I wouldn't know the way to begin. G.I. Joe is the same way because I had a massive G.I. Joe collection. And so on and so on. You know, the, the, a list, unless I had at least half of it, <laughs> it would be pointless oh, almost okay. Okay. to make a list. Mm -hmm. But that's where I'm at. And like I said, I got the uh, got Vader here. And for now, I guess I'll just keep him next to the boxed version. Mm-hmm. And I will do another video when next I find another piece. So you're going to do this journey often as, as you get pieces. You're going to show us and walk us through your journey of filling out. Yes, I'll okay. just uh, keep this separate from our typical like bulk unboxing okay. videos and do this as a Star Wars journey. All right. Well, thank you for sharing and taking us on your journey. And thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.